What's your opinion of the John Birch Society? Would you consider it a quasi-Catholic conservative organization? And what is your opinion of such notable Catholic birchers as Dean Mannion, California congressman and 1972 American Independent Party nominee for president, John G. Schmitz, Jack McManus, and founder and Catholic convert Robert Welch? Thanks and keep up the good work. Well, firstly, you made me feel very nostalgic bringing up those names. Jack is still with us, thankfully. Uh, the uh, the others, I think, have all gone on to their respective rewards. Uh, dean Mannion, who was the dean of the law school at Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I appreciate a lot of what the John Birch Society wrote and, and did and so forth, but it always seemed to me that it was oversimplified a lot of it. Uh, on the one hand. On the other hand, it also seemed to me that they were unwilling to examine the American inheritance in the same way they inher they uh, in, they looked at other things. Well, that's true for most Americans. Well, it is, and I mean, and I, I you know, I'm not, I oh, don't okay. hate you, their you, guts for it, but yeah. I mean, he's asking about the JBS. Yeah. If you asked me about some other group that said the same <laughs> thing, I'd say, well, <laughs> they do this. Well, okay. Okay. No, we Americans do not like looking at what we take for granted, because if we did, it would be uncomfortable. Uh, but, you know, there were a lot of very well-intentioned people in the JBS. Uh, they used to have their American Opinion bookstores all over the place. Uh, back when communism was a bigger threat than uh, it is now, now that we simply absorb it without uh, thinking about it. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, Let's say they, they, they certainly had a good chunk of the, uh, of, of the problem in, uh, in, in their heads, if not all of it. Uh, so so y you, you mentioned they, they oversimplify. Like, uh, how, could, like how? Like what well, is I mean, I, I'll give you an example. You know, you, you look at things like the Bilderbergers and the CFR and uh, uh, all these guys. They're not as unilateral and as monolithic as you would think from a cursory reading of JBS material. I mean, uh, there, there are all sorts of, how do I put it, degrees within them. And also, you got to bear in mind, too, that a lot of what they saw as conspiracy uh, is true. It's, it's, it's part of a conspiracy in a sense. But, I mean, look, Look at Americans, okay, as a group. Now, as we know, the John Birch Society, not being a Catholic organization per se, was always for religious liberty, but it certainly was not for Catholicism as the religion of the country. Uh, although I'm glad Robert Welsh not a Catholic. But uh, it certainly did not see that the country's basic problem was its lack of Catholicism. It didn't well, see what, what did they say was our biggest problem? Uh, that we were being, uh, that we were being uh, subverted by a bunch of evil, well-to-do people, which was not untrue. It, uh, I see, so it just didn't get to the heart of the matter, really. No, because said people, I mean, look, rich people like poor people operate in accordance with whatever it is is in their little pointed heads. Now... Uh, the sad truth of the matter is that what they saw as Illuminati and Masonic influence was simply what being an American is for most Americans. I mean, again, what is the basic creed of Freemasonry? It's conduct over creed. It doesn't matter what you believe as long as you're a nice person. Now that view is as much a part of who we are as Americans as uh, Catholicism is about being Italian. And I mean, even Italians who are communists or whatever, culturally, they're more Catholic than Catholics in Wheeling, West Virginia. Right. 